Well, we have another unboxing today. Uh, let's see what we got. I just cut the box open. You'll be seeing it right as I'm seeing it. Okay, bubble wrap. And feels pretty heavy. That's all that's in the box. But this is what it is. Not a very huge box. But it says marbles for every hour in the open. Alright, and it's so, there it is. Okay. That is a short little handle. This is all taped up. The first thing I noticed is this is heavy. So let's get this uh, wax paper off. Okay. Here it is. Out of the box. Uh, let's see, what can I say about this? It says marbles stamped into the carbon steel. You can see that. And it says El Salvador. El Salvador. Let's get this sticker off. Okay, I got the sticker off. And the first, the next thing I noticed about this is it seems like the grain is running the right direction in this American hickory handle. I mean, it's ever so slightly off at an angle, but definitely within the uh, range of being pretty good. It looks like two different types of wood there, like sap wood and what have you but let's see I think it'll be a fine handle mostly for the fact that it's extremely short and it has I think it has the exact same size head as the other marbles hatchet that I just reviewed so you could imagine how much more weight this seems on such a short handle like it's extremely forward heavy but See how straight this thing looks. You know, it seems pretty straight. Probably straighter than the other one. Uh, the wedge in the through the uh, handle there is uh, like tipped at an angle, but I don't know if that makes any difference. And it also has the circle wedge, but. I, I've never really had any experience with that, so I won't know until I use it and see. But it seems like it's really solid, like it's on there. It's got a lanyard hole. And uh, I did notice that the blade looks really, really crappy. Just to look at it. Let me see if it'll show. Like, it looks thick and kind of chipped and kind of dull. Not really chipped, but... Especially this top edge right there, like it's got a, let me see, like it almost like it has a burr on it or something the whole way. Definitely going to need to be filed. I don't know if this is paper cutting sharp or not, but uh, let's compare it with the one with the other marbles hatchet. Well, it looks like it's the exact same head, which I thought it was. The only difference is the length you can see that there so this might be a little easier to take on a backpack pat or on your belt even though it has some serious weight i mean this thing feels like it's a couple pounds like this just having the longer handle for some reason doesn't feel as as heavy maybe it's just like the forward pull because of the shorter handle but let's break out the tape measure and get some specs on this okay you can see the difference in size there this one comes in at a, around 16 a little slightly over maybe and and I took this tape measure to where the wood is 
up there so it, it goes slightly past the metal because the wood sticks out a little ways. But you can see the new one is only just slightly over 12 inches. So definitely much smaller. Both of these came with really good grain orientation. This one is awesome. This one slightly off but still definitely within the range so it's not bad at all. See, uh, let's see it's got about a three and a half inch cutting edge which is exactly the same as the other one. About six inches long which is exactly the same as this one and about an inch thick which is exactly the same as the other one. Okay, this is the sheath that I bought for the first one. It, it was called Style and Craft. It says it right there. But I've dabbed some black paint on there. And I also put mink oil and softened up this leather quite a bit. I know it looks horrible right now, but I'm going to also put a couple different shades of flat green and a little red and perhaps some brown and yellow and this is going to be camouflage when it's all done and it has a like a belt slices in there where you can put your belt through if you want to wear this on your belt these are like 1095 1097 on Amazon and they do just fit these and I'm gonna try it on here to show you yep it fits exactly the same as the other axe head because they're the exact same size it doesn't make it to the second button, but it does connect on the first button, so it will keep the edge protected and prevent you from getting cut or anything. So, I mean, it's a cheap sheath option. They've got better ones, but this, I think, was the cheapest. Uh, there is a green canvas one from Rothko. I haven't tried it, but it seemed, I think it's four inches by six inches, so it should work. I might actually order one. They're like six or seven bucks on on eBay and on Amazon so that's always an option too if you don't want to go with leather well all I have to say about it is this one's gonna have more leverage when you're swinging so you're gonna be able to bite in deeper take out bigger chunks of wood if you're cutting like larger size tree branches or pieces of wood this is much smaller it could do it but it's gonna take a lot more elbow grease on your part if you're trying to chop thicker wood this would probably be great for just uh, feather sticks and splitting it's somewhat like the grands for brooks uh kubin that i've actually done a review on in the past it was nine inches and this one here is like 12 inches so and substantially heavier and i'm gonna have to break out a file and put an edge on both of these because neither one of them seem that spectacular but I'll do a quick paper cutting test here. So here's the new Timmy hatchet. It's a good paper. Let's see what it can do. Well, it seems not terrible. And it's paper cutting sharp. Not super great. Got a couple burrs on it. But, and this was the other one. Not too bad. Obviously, they don't come super sharp, so you're going to have to do some work on both of them. Well, there you have it. This has a 12-inch handle, a 6-inch head, 3.5-inch cutting uh, surface on it. Fairly decent straight grain on a all-american hickory handle the head is high carbon steel they're a lot like condor uh, products condor axes except these are made by marbles and they're made in el salvador and let me think here i think they are 1045 high carbon steel or 1055 high carbon steel somewhere around there but Definitely want to get them sharpened up and get them outside and put them to some use. This weird crooked wedge, that's 
a bit off-putting, but I, I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not until I try it. But it's a neat little miniature hatchet. Uh, I don't have a lot more to say. I think you can pick them up on Amazon for like 30 bucks somewhere around there. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.